Hello everyone, I'm Neil Wakanda Swarm, welcome to my review on the 21st episode of the 7th season of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, also known as Marks and Recreation. And this episode, in my opinion, was mostly good. I didn't like the middle so much, but I liked the very beginning, I liked the end. Basically it revolves around the CMC starting up a sort of cutie mark day camp to try and help groups of ponies not only become friends but help each other get their own cutie marks and to sort of speed up the process because they realized that it was... Um, it took too long to do one at a time. And we have uh, Rumble, who is the little brother of Thunder Lane, a Wonderbolt, who we've seen before in Hurricane Fluttershy. We know he's their brothers. We see that Rumble um, is being nudged by his brother to come and do, do, do this whole camp thing. And Rumble obviously doesn't like it. He purposely fails at all the activities, and he flies away, and he tries to set up his own little obstacle course, similar to, like, the Wonderbolts, because it's obvious that Rumble wants to be a Wonderbolt. He wants to be a good flyer, and he wants to... He looks up to, to Thunderlane, most likely. And, basically, I like all that. You know, that's fine. I, I, I When I when I saw this, I was thinking, you know, let him do his own thing. He should do his own thing, you know, get his cutie mark in his own way. And the CMC even acknowledged that. What I didn't like, of course, was the song. It was a good song, but, you know, Rumble obviously had that sort of that jock attitude. He was a little bit of a brat. He was... He was Instead of doing his own thing, he now is f sort of not forcing, but really heavily cementing the idea of cutie marks are bad and you should just stay a blank blank. And even I, someone who hasn't an, a blank blank OC, doesn't like that song. The reason why I have a blank flank, or the reason why my OC doesn't have a cutie mark, is actually the reason that Rumble has. You know, why have a cutie mark that, you know, in a way, tell, you know, specifies something that you're good at and might force you to do something when you can be more of a free spirit? Now, in all honesty, even that's not such a good belief because the whole point of cutie marks is that it tells you one thing. It tells you one thing you're good at, and it does not say that's going to be your job. Because one of the pony got a got a cutie mark for doing haikus. Is she going to be a famous poet? Maybe. I don't think she's going to get that as a job. I think that she's going to do something else. I, I had a good example, Twilight, okay? Her cutie mark means she's good at magic. However, magic isn't her job. She uses magic to do lots of things like take down T-Rex and, and, you know, do things. But her job really is friendship. Her job really is to help uh, other ponies and, and to, you know, be a princess, be a role model. Fluttershy has a cutie mark that means she can talk to animals and she's the element of kindness. Her job might be helping animals as well, but she does a lot of other things. Like, for example, we know she's good with fashion and such. You, you know, it's stuff like this where it's proven that, yes, a cutie mark might take up most of your time, similar to how the CMC used to do things like potion making and fixing up things and, you know, learning to, 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 to you know, do music or whatever. But if they can still do those things in addition to what their key mark has to, their key mark represents. Further on in the episode, we see that Rumble is purposely not doing these um, activities well because he wants no risk of getting a cutie mark in anything other than being a Wonderbolt or something that could mean he's a Wonderbolt. And I understand that idea. Um, you know, we see a sort of tug and war. All the ponies from the cutie mark camp go to his little area to do whatever they want, which actually turns out to not be different than what they were doing with the CMC camp. And we see that Thunderlane comes in to show that as a Wonderbolt, he has a lot of interests. He's good at building things, and he's good at, you know, uh, cooking. And he's still a Wonderbolt, and he has the time to do all that stuff as well. And basically, when Rumble sees this, he realizes, hey, I can do other things too. And the episode ends off on a good note. Rumble is cooking with his brother, and he also joins in with the whole um, track that, they, that the CMC made to look like for the Wonderbolts. I think this was a very good episode. I think that this hit home for me because of the fact that my OC has a blank flank. And, you know, I'm not going to write some sort of special where, like, oh my god, I got a cutie mark. Um, I might just keep my OC the way it is. I think that it's clear that I have a lot of specific things that I'm good at. I'm good at helping friends. I'm good at using the editing software that I use to do thumbnails, and I enjoy it. Am I going to say that it should be my cutie mark? Maybe, you know, maybe art and, you know, f helping others and comforting others. Does it have to be so? No. You can do what you're good at and what you might be destined to do in Equestria, I'm certain, without a cutie mark. It's similar to the, to the um, I don't know the name, but that pony a while ago who had the um, upside down horseshoe and he thought it meant bad luck when it just meant silliness. You know, you can take your cutie mark the wrong way and you can do things that your cutie mark doesn't, you know, mean. You can unpurposely not do what your cutie mark 
tells you and still have that as a job. If Rumble got a cutie mark in juggling or whatever, he could still be a Wonder Bull. The cutie mark does not trap you in a box like Rumble says. It just specifies one thing that you're good at. In a way, it makes me wish that you could have more than one cutie mark whenever you're really good at something. But that's a topic for another day. I'd like you to share your thoughts below, though. Again, I like the episode a lot. The song was good vocally, and it had a nice beat to it. And, you know, he was acting a bit of a brat. He's acting his age. And other than that, that's really it. Um, I enjoyed Thunderlane's input. I liked him as a brother character. I liked the Kitty Mark Crusaders really trying to help all these ponies at once. And, you know, I liked their whole idea. I want to be... I actually... When I saw the Cutie Mark saying that they were counselors or whatever... You know, they're obviously not as old as the main six, and they still have the voices of young f ponies, but it's funny how they're like the counselors, and they're starting like a freaking day camp. It's like, whoa. Like, in my eyes, I think they're, they're, they're too young to do that, but this is Equestria. Anyway, please share your thoughts below. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'm going to be, possibly, when I get my new laptop, I'm going to be reacting to Bright Idea's parody of Modern Major General using uh, ponies from, you know, MLP. And um, I'm going to continue uploading these short little clips of the plushies because I enjoy doing them. They're funny. I have nothing better to do and I'm bored and it's just fun to do. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, the MLP movie. Um, I'm not going to see it in, th in theaters. I'm going to just, you know, I know a lot about the movie. I'm assuming I know how it ends, but I'm going to maybe react to it. If not, I'm definitely going to be writing a scripted review just like my season finales this is a special occasion it's going to get its own script and my pony oc is going to be in it that's going to be i'm going to spend a lot of time on that it's not going to be out right away i don't even have my laptop but it's going to be good so stay tuned